Overlook in the background just cannot be a thing in After Effects. So in this video, I wanna talk about creating high tech animated backgrounds right here in After Effects. A lot of creative effects will go in this, but it's really easy to follow along with and you're gonna be able to produce an awesome composition right here for your motion graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. So let's go ahead and get ready to take our projects to the next level and create something awesome. Boom, if you want to follow along with our tutorial, you can download our project files for free. So here we are in a blank composition. The first thing we want to do is go to Layer, New, Solid, and you can call it Element 1. So we'll be combining a few effects together here. So the first thing we'll do is go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and grab Fractal Noise. We'll come here to the Contrast, and we'll set this to 660. We'll come here to the Brightness and set this to negative 140. Then what we'll do is come here to the Evolution Alt click the stopwatch and type in time asterisk 400. All right, that's it. Then what we want to do is go to effect simulation and grab CC ball action. All right, so we'll come here to the grid spacing, set this up to 15 and we'll come here to the ball size and set that to 15 as well. So you get these dots in here and they'll be animating because we animated that evolution. Then we'll go to effect color correction and we'll grab tint. This is where you want to change your dots to a color here. So maybe we'll do like a nice light blue. That's totally fine. Then we'll add one final effect. We'll go to effect, stylize, and we'll grab glow. And come here to the glow of radius and set this to 30. Okay, so now what we want to do is take our element here and we'll go to edit, duplicate. And we'll come here to the fractal noise and we'll come here to the evolution options and we'll come here to random seed and we'll just go ahead and just put that to a random number. Okay, then we'll come here to the tint color and we can change this to another color whatever we see fit and come here to the blend mode toggle switch to modes and to see the blend mode and make sure that all these layers are set to screen or lighten so boom they can blend right in together very well and maybe for this element we'll come here to the ball action and we'll set our ball size to 11 kind of vary the size by a little bit and then we can take our bottom ele element and duplicate it again bring it to the top and we'll come here to the ball size maybe we'll do it to 10 this time around and once again we'll go into the evolution options and kind of just uh, adjust that random seed there by a touch okay so now we got our basic elements set up for success and now what we're gonna do is take all of our elements that we have here and we'll duplicate them we'll bring them to the bottom so you will have three and three go up to layer new adjustment layer we'll go to the adjustment layer and we'll put it right here in the middle so you have three on top three on the bottom and then we'll go to effect channel and we'll grab it mini max we'll set this to 10 and one thing we absolutely need to do is go to layer new solid and sets to a black background completely black and click OK bring this layer at the bottom and boom now we're getting something really cool one thing we have to do for our adjustment layers go to effect stylize and grab motion tile and make sure that this effect is above the mini max effect and what we'll do is come here to the tile center and we'll offset it by a little bit already and we'll come here and add a keyframe for it go to the end of your animation and you can have this animate in any direction or however you want it to do and one thing i want to do with the bottom three elements is hit u twice on keyboard go into the time settings and change this down to maybe like 90 instead of 400 for each of these parameters this will kind of slow down the animation and make it a little bit more contrasted so do that for all three layers so now you shall have something like this and it's all coming together and looking great and remember that black background at the bottom is very important for this to work out and of course, before we move further into our tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for After Effects. So this is our motion graphics professionals pack, which has over 1400 elements in it. And of course, we have our high text category, which we're doing in this tutorial. So you can instantly apply this in any After Effects project. But how this pack works is, for example, if you want a title, you can preview every title animation that we have and you can continue browsing until you find a title that you like. So let's say we want to use this title animation, click on apply. And this will apply a full title animation into any composition that you're working in. And you can easily go into that title animation and you can grab your textile tool and change out your titles very easily. And our graphics are auto resizing. So as you type out your title, the graphic will update as you type it in there. And you can go to our control layer where you can easily update your colors to all the different graphics and titles in here. And your title and any other graphic will update inside your main composition. And we have a handful of other elements in here like lens flares, particles, transitions for your videos, and 600 animated promo slides. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while having access to all the After Effects templates you need, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. 
All right, so we're so close to taking this to the next level. So we just need to add some quick creative effects to really punch this out. So what we wanna do is create a new adjustment layer and you can call this effects. And what we're gonna do is go to effect noise and grain and always add noise. I always do this. I'll set this up to 16% on check use color noise. And then we'll go to effect blur and sharpen and we're gonna grab camera lens blur. All right, so we need to set this up correctly. So how we're gonna do that is very easy. What we'll do is go to layer new solid, call it map. And we'll come here to effect generate and we'll grab a gradient ramp change the ramp shape to a radial ramp very easily and what we'll do is come here and grab the black color here and just put that right there in the center and we'll come here and grab the bottom white anchor point and just really bring this down you know really bring it down and that should be good enough so you should have something like this and that's fine and then we'll go ahead and pre-compose this layer by going to layer pre-compose call it map move all attributes click ok bring that to the bottom of the composition and turn it off Go back to our effects layer and we'll come here to the blur map of the camera lens blur and set this to the map. And then what we're gonna do is come here to the blur radius and set this up to like maybe 75. Nice, so now you're gonna get this nice blurred look around your composition and if you wanna open that up even more, go back in that map layer and just continue to bring down that bottom anchor point there and it'll update inside your main composition and make it a little bit less blurry and it's awesome. Then let's go to effect, distort, and let's add an optics compensation Set this up to maybe 75-ish, and then check on reverse lens distortion. You know, now you can add yourself a nice slight, you know, logo animation or a title, but I want to be able to do one more thing and just kind of do a quick RGB split to this, but also keep in mind that I don't want that to be applied to the title or anything like that, but I want the blur and all that to be applied to the title or logo if you're doing that. So what we'll do is we'll create another adjustment layer and we'll go to effect channel and we'll grab shift channels, okay? And this is very important we do it this way specifically. We'll turn off the red channel to full off and go to green and set that to full off, okay? Then what we'll do is go to effect, distort, and we'll grab the transform effect. We'll set the scale to like 95 maybe. And we'll go ahead and duplicate the adjustment layer. We'll take the blue, set that to full off, go to green and set that back to green. And we'll come here and set the scale maybe to 100. And then we'll come here and duplicate the adjustment layer one more time. We'll set our scale to 105 and we'll turn off the green layer to full off and come here to red and set that back to red. Then we'll come here to the bottom layer one more time. And this time we'll all click the stopwatch for position. And what we'll do is type in wiggle, open parenthesis 10 comma 10, close just like that. We'll grab all three of our layers right here, set the blend mode to lighten. And more specifically, we'll go ahead and pre-compose this by grabbing these three layers and pre-composing them, call it RGB toggle switch the modes and and turn on that vector icon right there and make sure you take this rgb layer and put it underneath your effects uh layer so now with that rgb effect underneath our title and logo you're able to still apply that creative effect to your title logo and have a nice little rgb digital look to your animated background so that's our tutorial on creating these high-tech animated backgrounds a little bit of creative effects go into it but it's really easy to follow along with i hope so if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.